bestrobo.in, your favorite robotic and electronics store in India. Hello everyone, welcome to Mifratech. Today in this section we learn about transistors. So these are, these are the different types of transistors. So this is the general uh, symbol representation of transistor as you can see the base it has mainly three terminals base a collector and emitter will provide a input through base and we can see the output in the collector and uh, this is the first one is the NPN transistor here the arrow mark will be uh, uh, like outwards in the P this is second one right side is the PNP transistor here arrow mark will be in inside so this is the general uh, symbol representation of transistors so a transistor is a type of semiconductor which can be used to conduct uh, both conduct and insulate uh, electronic current or voltages so it is you can call it as a combination of two diodes a transistor basically acts as a switch or as an amplifier we can make use it can we can make in the application can make in, uh, use as a switch or uh, you can also use it as an amplifier in simple words we can also say that a transistor is a, like a miniature device that is used to control or regulate the flow of electronic signals so you can also control the flow of any electronic signals so transistor are the one of the key components on most of the electronic devices that are present today because in the normal any processors or any uh, sensors also you take in all those things there will be like transistor IC is present so a transistor is a bipolar junction trans uh, the junction transistor we'll see which has shown symbol is a BJT that is a bipolar junction transistor it has two polarities but it has mainly bipolar junction it has two junctions so the three terminal it has three terminals I show, showed base emitter and collector like a very small uh, current flowing between base and emitter and uh, generally a small amount of current will flows between the base and emitter and but a large amount of current will be flowing between collector and emitter there are two types of BJTs one is a PNP and one more is NPN, NPN. so the PNP transistor is a type of uh, BJT where N type material is introduced or placed between two P type materials this is how a PNP transistor is uh, constructed in such a configuration what happens is the device will control the flow of current so a PNP transistor mainly consists of two crystal diodes as I told a transistor is nothing but a combination of two diodes which are connected in series so the right side and the left side of the diode is known as the collector based and uh, emitter based diodes uh, respectively so in this way we have uh, NPN also in this NPN between two AN materials we are a P type material is present that is NPN transistors which basically is used to amplify any weak signals into strong signals for the amplification purpose we can make use of this NPN transistor uh, the in NPN transistor the electrons usually move from the emitter to collector region resulting in the formation of current in the resistance so the whenever the electrons move from emitter to collector the current will flow the transistors so these are the, the transistor will widely used in uh, different circuits to, for different purposes so uh, this is the construction of a transistor this is how uh, uh, like uh, any transistor will uh, internally will look like it has mainly as you can see three terminals a base terminal emitter and a collector inside it has uh, n type and p type materials as you can see here i have represented a npn transistor so it has a n type emitter there will be like n type collector between uh, it, uh, like emitter and the collector have a base here and they uh, at the bottom we have a substrate uh, you can call it as a body also so what are the advantages of these transistors is they are of low cost and small in size uh, they have a smaller uh, mechanical sensitivity they are they can operate at a low operating voltage also they have extremely long life no power consumptions and they will uh, do the switching very fastly they have better efficiency uh, in order to increase the efficiency of the circuit we can make use of these transistors there are different type, types of transistors available for a particular task so what are the disadvantages of transistors means uh, like they have a lack of electron mobility so the electron mobility is very low when uh, in some of the transistors and transistor can be easily damaged whenever an electrical or thermal event arise means whenever there is a high heat produced or any electrical voltage or supply is produced high high means transistor may get damaged very easily example like electrostatic discharge handling also they can uh, damaged, get damaged and transistors are affected by cosmic rays and radiations also so what are the features of these transistors means they can be used as a switch they have a th there are the, it has mainly a three terminal device it, it can be act as a, a conductor or a insulator it can be act it can be used as an amplifier also it can be used in amplifier circuits also 
So what are the application of these transistors? So the core use of transistor including a uh, mainly used for a switching application as both amplification and for switching purpose. There is a kind of transistor which produce a current flow depending on the amount of uh, like a light shined upon them. They are the, the which we call a photo transistors. So depending on the uh, like uh, there are different this is a photo transistor as a kind of transistor uh, which will produce a current depending on the light flow like falling on those transistors they are also at transistors and uh, there are like a BJT bipolar junction transistor which can cause a greater current flow from the emitter to collector whenever a small amount of like uh, using this BJT transistor you, you can provide a low current as an input and it can provide a high current as the output. So these are the different applications of this uh, transistor you can make uh, use this transistor in different applications. So in a, there are one more kind of uh, transistor present that is FETs, you can call it a field effective transistor. They are mainly used for a voltage control device like in order to control the voltages, we can, voltage of any device or a circuits we can make use this FETs. Uh, they, have, they have usually have high input impedance and it helps to run very little current flow through them. So the resistance they have very high so that it will allow only a little amount of current to flow through them. So this is very helpful for causing uh, the uh, in order to avoid the damage done to the transistor or any circuits also. So there is uh, one more type of uh, transistor like a heterojunction bipolar transistors are there. They can provide a faster switching speed and used in, they are used in both uh, analog and digital microwave application we can make use of this HBTs. And there are uh, like a short K transistor which will uh, diverse high input current and prevent the transistor from uh, saturating. There are multiple emitter transistor also there. They are used in a transistor to transistor logic and NAND gate logic gates uh, in a, like a logic gates also will use these transistors. So these are the different applications of this transistor. So, so thank you for watching the video. Thank you.